or sound better. Hi there, guys. This is Red Hat Roman from AA Production. Um, in this video, I want to go through this um, great progressive house FL Studio project that uh, we have prepared for you together, together with the rest of the AA Production team. And um, yeah, this uh, this video will be a part of our brand new video series called FL Studio Templates, in which we'll be releasing a lot of really cool FL Studio projects and the other series that you are used to uh, which is called how to EDM will be focused mainly on uh, on you know creating leads drops and you know just doing stuff in real time not just go through uh, the FL Studio projects that we, we were doing uh, for you know until now so we have decided to split those two series into two individual parts so let me just first uh, play you what we will be talking about here Th uh, playing in three two one now Short, short buck. Uh, this extra lead Varum played or Varum playing properly, but that's uh, because of the uh, delay composition uh, during the recording so yeah um, I think it sounds pretty cool uh, this kit uh, it is this this track is from a construction kits pack called what about progressive house essentials by AA production so in case you like it be sure to check out this pack because you will find another 11 kits and tons of samples and presets in there so uh, yeah this is just for all progressive house freaks out there. I know you like progressive house a lot, so we have decided not to do uh, future house or electro house all the time, but focus more on progressive house also. So let's uh, take a look at the uh, at the project. Here, here we can see a lot of um, automations with which looks like really. Um, hard to explain but it's not because for example all of these are just you know kickstarts and LFOs which are making um, the sidechain effect and for example these these two and this one are just you know volume envelopes that are going up in the build-up section and some filters so it's really not that complicated to understand what is going on in the lower part of this project and uh, here we have some effects. I don't think it's necessary to talk about them much. Uh, the only thing I really want to mention are these, oops, are these uh, white noise effects. Because, you know, this one is from a pack called, hmm, it's from FX pack called, what about, or, no, it's not that one. Okay, I'm not sure from which one is that one, <laughs> but uh, it's from an FX pack by AA Production and they are really stunning, you know. Um, I, I saw a lot of projects uh, that do not use uh, white noise effects and these, um, God, these clubs with reverb and these this particular effects just add so much power in the 
in the track that you know you just have to use them <laughs> so uh yeah the FLP is divided into three parts as usual you have uh, a breakdown part, breakdown part. Here, here you have a build up part and starting from this uh, this part is drop so uh, first let's let's take a look at the breakdown let's turn on all of the channels So um, here you can hear a simple arpeggio with some reverb, with some reverb and delay on it, but it's really not that complicated. You can see the movement of the notes um, as a support chords. Here are used uh, pianos from Nexus. Which are doing pretty cool and uh, you know also a great tip for using pianos are to is to just not play all of the notes from the chords at one point you know like for example here but from time to time also make some of those uh, some of those notes a bit delayed or even a bit press shifted or something like that you know they are playing as you can see only this uh, low note is playing exactly where it should be on the beat. This one is a bit like pre-timed and this, these three are a bit delayed. And that makes the more like natural feeling, you know, which uh, which happens when you're playing piano with your hands, not not uh, not just, you know, putting notes in the FL Studio or whatever else. So, uh, yeah, the breakdown is, is just easy like that, but it sounds pretty cool, you know, the, the, the chords are really well created in there and it's it's a really nice melody, can be heard. So here, as you can see, uh, nearly all of the lead samples, except of this one, except of the like uh, mid bass, low bass synth are already there in the build up and they are building up as I was already mentioning, you know, the volumes are going up, the filters are going up, etc, etc. So, uh, yeah, uh, here is a riser, here we can see a bit of synth chat, big uh, big snare and then the drop comes. So let's speak about the drop first. Um, let's play it, just a part of it. It sounds really cool, right? It's really, I really like that one. So let's take a look at the parts. This is so cool. I like those really short, like stubby notes that are making the atmosphere so way like brighter and uh, playful. So, um, yep, chords. What's happening in there? You know, uh, what's happening in there? Side chain and another side chain. Here you can see LFO, which uh, which is there just to be really sure that um, the click won't be, or the kick won't be affected by by the sound so that's just why the short uh, sidechain is there and also uh, on a lot of other channels so uh, don't be uh, don't get wrong why there are like two uh, sidechain plugins in one um, in one chain of mix chain of plugins sorry uh, some, somehow I just cannot remember uh, the proper English words so uh, that's about the chords you know the chords are making uh, making more the sound more full and more wide so the other <clears throat> yeah the other part is this is this in my opinion the most important part of the track which is this like mid mid low bass and in this uh, particular 
scenario <laughs> it is made by these three patches from Spyro. This one is for the Jordi. This one is used uh, the mid phaser on him. And this one has has a really nice attack and flows really good. So all of all of them together are uh, uh, all three of them are routed to this channel, and uh, I just used a small, you know, uh, equalizer, just a bit of sound goodizer, and uh, sidechain. That's all. So this is making the main body of the track. This synth is just, you know, just add there because uh, it's making the bass sound even even fuller and brighter. What is also interesting is, as you can see, this these two basses, this like add bass, is not following exactly these, for example, these cuts. So that makes the overall sound even more interesting. But also what I wanted to mention is, you know, listen to the melody of the bass. You hear that one? The da -da. This is so cool, you know. Uh, in 95% of the nowadays tracks or of the tracks that tons of producers are creating, the baseline is really simple like this. Usually it's just, you know, starting each bar starts uh you know one note so this this note starts a bit earlier which is which is also a great idea but um this like sliding effect is is way more way more interesting so let's just listen to it how it would how it would sound uh, you know in regular order and this is how it sounds when you when you focus more on the rhythm and just bring some ideas to the track also. And these are the tiny like uh, things and ideas that uh, makes your that, that make your track really like stand out. So it's important to not to be lazy. I know it's hard, you know, to spend like a lot of time, even though you you hate the track already because you heard it like a million times. So, but it's important to really find something that sounds cool and not that ordinary. So this is just, you know, really easy trick, but adds so much to the track. Uh, the uh, the artist that reminds me, or this trick reminds me, the artist is um, Calvin Harris, which is also using uh, these great like ideas for his bass lines, and that makes the the tracks of, of his really uh, really great and fun to hear. So those are the bass parts, and here is the main lead part. <laughs> You can hear here <laughs> the slide note, and that is made by D Blue Glitch. You know, just a uh, really slow tape down effect. And yeah, uh, these the leads is, is made by two spire patches. The, this one is like more one voice. Uh, made and the other one is more detuned, made by made by more voices. So uh, this is a pretty nice uh, FX chain. As you can see, I use some of the Fafilter Saturn, some equalizers, and here is the D Blue glitch I was speaking about. And yeah, you you will be able to take a look uh, to all of those things when you will download the uh, FL Studio project. So uh, one last thing, here is an extra lead that comes in the second half of the break. And again, um, Jesus. And again, uh, you can see here this little short uh, note that is making the 
really quick portamento, but it sounds so good in the track itself. It makes it just literally more interesting in a second. Oh, it is really nice. So uh, this is just another idea of how to make your, you know, melody more interesting. So yeah, this is another just add lead. Uh, here are some like um, effects, you know, the Swedish Elf Mafia stuff. Where is the uh, reverse uh, reverse club and then club and the classical or the classic normal club scams. And here are just some uh, percussion rides and claps and kicks. All of these are very used from AA production sample packs. Uh, actually, a lot of those samples are from the latest. EDM tools. What about EDM tools pack that that has been also released on Splice Sounds, which is very cool because you can just go in there and just download this one, you know, this one kick or the one clap or the one right or whatever you need. You can download even ten, and you don't need to buy the whole pack. You know, it's up to you. you can go through the whole content of the pack and download just what whatever sound you like. So. Um, yeah, I think that's all. I think that's all. Let's just take a look at the mastering channel, uh, master channel. Um, yeah, you know, limiter, some filters to um, uh, to play with the atmosphere. You know, when the drop comes and stuff. Uh, here is a equalizer from Waves. You know, the RQ6, uh, which I'm using sometimes on the master channel because um, it is working pretty well. And uh, here I just raise up the volume because uh, the volume, you know, th there were a lot of headroom because all of those uh, elements are a bit like uh, volumed down. So I raise it back by fruity balance. Fruity balance, you can basically raise it by enter any like volume knob from any plugin. So yeah, that's all. The tutorial took 70 minutes. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, we will be back with more. And thank you for watching. Thank you, care. And don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like. And also, don't forget to download this great FL Studio session with all presets and samples used inside. Take care and have a nice day. Bye.